The temperatures are plummeting. Tonight is going to be 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So for you Celsius people, that is below zero. Tonight will be a nice moonlit night, almost a full moon in fact. So that will be a challenge for astrophotography, but I'm very interested to see on what we are going to get tonight. I'm not for sure what I'm going to be imaging quite yet. A lot of the nebulae and targets in tonight's sky are close to the moon, so I'm going to have to try to get around that. But late October into November is one of my favorite times of the year to shoot. You still get the Cygnus region if you want to shoot that. You have the whole Cassiopeia and Andromeda region and Perseus, and you have all the winter stuff like Monoceros and Orion. It's just a great time of the year to come out and do astrophotography. I think I've chosen on the Horsehead Nebula in the constellation of Orion right next to the Bright Star Almatak. I will be shooting this in dull narrowband with the L Enhanced filter to get that punchy HA. And maybe I'll get some broadband data later on. This target is heavy in the HA and it has a nice little companion known as the Flame Nebula and some other really neat features like dust and reflection nebulae around it. It is a very dynamic region of space and it's just awesome looking and will make for a great picture with various focal lengths. This is also a cool target to go for like even for like 50 millimeters getting the constellation of Orion in there you'll get all the surrounding stuff including the Orion Nebula itself and it will just make for a fantastic image. We have the setup here it is the Quattro 150p f3.4 imaging scope uh, well it's f3.4 with the coma corrector uh, we have the Ioptron 726 mount. If you come over here, we have the ASI Air controlling everything. Uh, we have, for the main camera, the ASI 585. Then we have the SU Boney 30mm guide scope and the ASI 120mm mini for the guide camera. And of course, ends here, inside the imaging train, we have the Optolong L Enhance filter, which is the duo band filter we are using tonight. Now, if you have not imaged the Horsehead Nebula before, you definitely should. It is very easy to find. It is right near the star out attack in the constellation of Orion, and it is quite bright and has a bright little companion, which is the Flame Nebula. Now, again, you can get this with a stock DSLR, but a mono DSLR is going to be better since this is stock full of HA. here and it is freezing cold uh we are about to get set up in polar line and everything it is just an awesome night up here you can see the uh, star Riga up here there and then there's the moon rising it's just such a beautiful night and we are currently polar lining the mount here uh, with the phone we have some more polar lining to do and orion is about to rise over there and once it does we will be framing on horse and nebula you can see all the ice formations on my telescope already that are forming from the frost. But we're going to go to the Sky Atlas here on the phone and point it directly at the horse head nebula. Like I said, I'm gonna have to work with the framing a bit probably, but we're going to go ahead and get slewed over there. Okay, it is turned on and going straight there now. Oh, it's crazy how much ice has already formed out here. Probably gonna have to wipe some off the uh, guide scope. My do sh my do heater doesn't work for the guide scope anymore. So this is a five second plate solving sub. You can kind of see the nebulosity starting to barely come out, and that's to start out attack. So that's kind of the framing I got. And we're going to be taking probably three or four minutes subs. I want to make sure I do not blow out an attack out uh, and clip the highlights too much. So we will make sure not to go too long. But I'm very excited to see the outcome of this image and I think it's going to be awesome. So we're just going to wait till tomorrow morning and see what we get. All the times I've shown sunset on this channel, I haven't once shown sunrise, so here it is. It's so frosty, it almost looks like there's snow. <laughs> yeah, our telescope definitely has some ice formations on it. The ASI air and the cameras and stuff all stay warm. Guide camera got a little bit of ice on it. My goodness though, it is just such a beautiful morning out here. <laughs> 